Right, so this is the car. It's a 125D, newer model 1 Series. I don't know the numbers of these ones. But four cylinder diesel, but it's been dark sided up. It's got AO52 tyres. Not sure what pads are out it's got, but I've seen Scott, I've seen this car parked up round the ends. He daily drives it. Yeah, I've seen it a lot, so I'm looking forward to having a drive. It's a ZF, eight spedder. Yep, Estero Blue 2. Similar colour to mine, look at this. Posh seats and that, eh? So I don't know a lot about these. I'll tell you after it maybe, but we're at Croft, as you know. All right, we're all rigged up then for another diesel track car review. 125D. Yeah, I don't know what power it is or anything. This is how much power it is, but I guess it's all about the torque. Scott's just had a spin in this, so we had to do a spin and in, so the marshals will be keen on us if we do any silly bollocks driving, but we should be all right, I think. We'll be able to compare it against the M3, won't we? I've just been out in the M3 just now. What will it compare like? It's got some Birmingham grills on the go. Looks like they've been painted. Yeah, looks like we might be able to. If we go fast enough, we might be able to get all that to peel off, I reckon. What do you think? Anyway, let's get to it. 125D, dark side. What's it like to drive? So you want to sat low. Right, we're off out now in the 125 Denzel. Oh. All right, sir, we've got a passenger on this one, have we? I drove this here. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, my phone's probably going to connect and start playing Snoop Dogg. Right. First time you've driven this? Yeah. It does go into manual, just start with paddles. There we go. You're in sixth. Diesel, isn't it? Is it an A speed, yeah? Yes. traction control. Let's find out. Yeah, no, no it's limited like fuck. No, it must not turn off all the way. Trying to get traction turned off, it keeps sapping it. Is it because of tyres? We've just done tyres, because it we're doing it, yeah. Get tyres up to trim. Yes, yeah, so we've just done. We've come in now and reset it. It'll be all right then. But it keeps. Oh, so it won't do it anymore. No, it shouldn't. Do. What should it be in? What mode? I just put it all the way to the top, then hold that until it goes off. Yeah, that's what I've just done there. Yeah, right. we've got done, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Huh. I still have windows up for the go, camera go. production, sir. You are. We're filming a video on the internet. All right.
it's traction off. fast for what it is but it's not I mean you were driving like an M3 all day it's not quite there is it not but I guess it's not meant not, to be not M3 fast uh, leave it running may as well well dark side 1 series what do you think well it's still a 1 series isn't it I mean that in the best possible way but I had the same view when I drove the M140s they're just I don't know there's just something missing what, what's missing we had a bit of trouble with the computer, cooking the car a little bit. Managed to get that sorted out, we managed, you know, got it all turned off in the end. Managed to do at least one slide, just to have a little feel of it, but very twitchy cars. And yeah, in that instance, it was pushing on a hell of a lot in every corner. Now, like I say, it's his road car. So, you know, it's not an all out, balls out track car, but yeah. Maybe you can do stuff to these that I'm not aware of to make them turn a bit better, but they just they just feel a bit awkward in corners. Obviously it was fast in a straight line, you saw that. It wasn't far off the M3, it's four cylinder diesel. It wasn't far off the M3 in a straight line, so that's pretty good, isn't it? But yeah, cornering ability, hmm. Underwhelming, I'll say, and I'm pretty sure they'd agree with me. Especially when you've been driving that lovely lass in the background all day. Brakes were good, I don't know what they are, they look like standard M performance ones. Pretty good, although the ABS kept doing a weird thing. Where sometimes, especially at turn one when I was braking, the ABS would like, the pedal would be real hard and then it would move on like an inch. And then you know, it would still brake at the same rate, but the pedal would move. So it was almost like the ABS was like tensing up and then, you know, relaxing. Really strange feeling through the pedal and, you know, not very good for confidence on the brakes at all. but. What did you think to it? Gearbox was very good. Yeah, that was way more responsive than what I thought it would be. Just pulled the paddle and yeah, the gear changed. But eight speed auto, so it was changing all the time. We got into like, well, I don't know what gear we got into, but it felt like I was changing gear a lot on the paddles as well. But all good, all good. So what was it like then? What did it look like through the GoPro? Obviously we had a, a passenger in, so hopefully they didn't block off the experience too much, but 
you know it's a diesel automatic pushing on a bit round track you know I don't know how interesting that would have been for you to watch obviously driving fast on tracks fun and everything but I kind of felt like I was having to work too hard to go fast in the car but I felt that about the 1 Series uh, 140 as well that was only on the road it just felt like far too much effort to try and drive fastly fastly more fast uh, confidently let's call it confidence it's not very confidence inspiring the chassis maybe it's just hot hatch things because it's technically a hot hatch I guess isn't it maybe that's just how it is but yeah what did you think dark side 125d let me know in the comments I bet you've got there must be some people out there with one of these cars who can agree with everything I'm saying but also there'll be some people out there who disagree with everything I'm saying so uh, yeah uh, let me hear it. What was I doing wrong? Was I, was I driving it wrong or something? It just seems to want to push on in all the corners. It has got an LSD, so whether it was just locked up the rear or something, I don't know. But yeah. Thanks for watching anyway. That was the uh, short but sweet review video of the 125D. I'm going to try and get keys to that mini now. I reckon I'll have more fun in that. <laughs>